Worth recapping here, the Federal Reserve unanimously deciding to pause rate hikes today. However, pointing to the likelihood of more increases this year as officials continue to battle in elevated inflation. Let's head out to Yahoo Finance's Jen Schomberger, who is at the Fed for us. Uh, you know, we were just listening to the press conference here. Jen, you were there as well. Certainly the Fed chair trying to keep all options open with the expectation that there are two more rate hikes to come this year. Hey there, Akiko. That's right. Fed Chair Powell saying that the Fed has not made enough progress on inflation. It needs to come decisively lower. And that's why the committee sees 50 basis points more of rate hikes here. Take a listen. Nearly all committee participants expect that it will be appropriate to raise interest rates somewhat further by the end of the year. But at this meeting, considering how far and how fast we've moved, we judged it prudent to hold the target range steady to allow the committee to assess additional information and its implications for monetary policy. Powell said the committee did not make a decision on what will happen next meeting, nor has the committee adopted a uh, every other meeting strategy. However, he said July will be a live meeting. He says the main issue now is determining how much more tightening is really needed. He says risks to the inflation are to the upside and that a rate cut would not be appropriate this year, given little progress made on inflation. He says the level of interest rates now is consistent with what was seen pre banking crisis, uh, but now it's really a question of speed versus the level on the actual uh, interest rate. He says we've gotten to a point where we're fairly restrictive, but now we can afford to take a step back and see what the lag effects are, see how our policy permeates through the economy. So that's why he thought it would be important or the committee believes it would be important to moderate rate hikes at this juncture, though he did note we still don't know the full extent to the credit tightening that we saw from the bank failures earlier this spring. It'll be interesting to see how the committee takes that into consideration as we approach July. Back to you. Jen Schomberger, they're live for us at the Fed with the big headlines there. Appreciate all the reporting there.